all of us absolutely love focus ui because it makes creating beautiful images with simple prompts very easy but while its simple user interface does make the process quite enjoyable the lack of advanced controls frustrate us quite a bit on the other hand comfy ui have the best customizations available and any and every latest stable diffusion update comes to comfy ui first so this person asked if there is any way we can use them both at the same time in this video i am going to show how you can incorporate fukas styles into any workflow within comfy ui the first workflow is going to be with stable cascade then i shall show sd 1.5 sdxl and stable diffusion 3 one by one load the first workflow from the description and it should look something like this if you see a few workflows are readed out especially somewhere around here then go to the comfy ui manager click on install missing custom nodes just install them and restart the web ui once that's done you can find the actual node that we are going to use looks like this this is called the style selector node and it comes with the focus styles already pre-installed there are other styles available as well but that's for another video you can see when you hover over any style with your mouse it gives you a glimpse of how the resulting image is going to look like in terms of cats to apply any particular style or more than one styles just select that style from this list and the resulting text automatically changes which shows how that prompt is actually going to look now this is only a single workflow if you want to do the same thing with any and every workflow then you have to understand how this actually works before that like this video if you are going to use this node at all let me guide you through this with the basic sd 1.5 workflow we have to understand the style selector node does one simple thing it changes the positive and negative prompts in such a way that affects the resultant image so we should find a way where we can replace the text part in these two prompts with the one generated by the style select obviously first we need the style selector node but it does not work directly with the text encoder so we have to make the text encoder compatible right click on that go to convert widget to input convert text to input that opens up a text input which is compatible with the style selector now that we have the connection established this creates a new problem the prompt is gone and with no input prompt the entire process would not work so we have to find a way to generate simple text you can use any prompt generator for this purpose there is one called easy prompt there is another one named cr prompt text it doesn't matter now lead the prompt generator one to the positive connection and another to the negative part so these are going to be your new positive and negative prompts now this is done for the working part if you want to see how the prompt is changing with the influence of the style selector you need another node this show text node one gets the positive text another showcases the negative one now just like before select any focus style and go with it it applies the presets automatically and this show text portions lets you see how the prompt has changed with the style selector now while using with sdxl this is mostly the same thing but with a simple difference instead of applying it only on the model you have to apply it with both the model and the definer that's not going to be tough just create some space here and again we are going with the style selector along with the positive and the negative prompt connect this up change all four the clip text encoders into convert text to input now obviously the positive output goes both into the model part and the definer part same with the negative output select a style or maybe more than one and here you get your output image as simple as that just like sd 1.5 or 2.8 you have to work with only one positive and one negative prompt connect the positive and negative connections and the rest is just normal official sd3 workflow a pretty outstanding result for a pretty basic prompt if you ask me i just used four words as the positive prompt and two more as the negative one now have fun with this workflow and let me know in the comments what is the next topic that i should make videos about but before that you might want to check out these five tricks that made my experience with stable diffusion a lot better than it already was